I'm Cecily. I'm gonna be walking you through your new OTB Burn Heart Rate Monitor purchase. Now let me tell you a little bit about the Burn Heart Rate Monitor. First, it works outside of the studio, so you can connect it via Bluetooth to our free Orange Theory app, and then that way you can do any workout outside the studio and see the same data in all of the heart rate zones that you see right here in studio. So that's a great perk for our Burn Heart Rate Monitor. And then it has a rechargeable battery, and it, that battery life usually lasts anywhere from six to eight workouts, sometimes longer. Just always make sure to turn it off after you're done using it to save that battery life. Next, it's worn very comfortably on your arm, so super great placement there. Right out of the box, I always say that they put the, the strap on backwards, so I always fix it right away. If you just flip it around so that the Velcro is on the outside like that, it makes it easier for you to adjust the strap when it's on you. There you go. So when you take your heart rate monitor out of the box, you will see your charging cable and the additional strap box. The big, the strap in here is gonna be a little bit bigger, so you can decide which one's more comfortable for you. And the charging cable in here is going to be a micro USB charging cable. So what that means is it's almost like any of the other USB charging cables other than Apple devices. So think like Android, Android devices, that sort of thing. When you go to charge your heart rate monitor, flip over and find the little flap right here so you can charge it. So you're gonna open that flap. Quick tip, this can be a little hard to open, so I always use something small to kind of pop it open real quick, just like that. So then you just plug it in right there and you're good to go. I usually charge mine overnight. To turn on your burn heart rate monitor, you're going to press the center of the splat symbol right there. So not just a light tap, you're gonna actually press in and you'll feel it push in. So you're gonna double tap it real fast twice to turn it on, so quick double tap. And when you see the light turn on, that means it is on. And it's gonna blink back and forth like this until it is on my arm, and then it will start reading my heart rate. Now, to turn it off, you are going to push the splat symbol again, but instead, this time, you're going to hold it until you see a solid red light. So there is the solid red light right here. And now it is off. Sometimes when you take it off of the charger, it will turn itself on. So just be looking for that blinking light when you take it off the charger, and then make sure to push it and hold it to turn it off again, just in case so that you don't drain the battery when you're not using it. To clean your heart rate monitor, make sure to take the strap off of the pod here, so keep them separated. The strap you can hand wash with warm water and dish soap and hang it to dry. The pod you can wipe down with a disinfecting wipe, like a Clorox wipe, and again, air dry it. Now let's talk about placement, because that is probably the most important. So you, I always have it hooked together like this, and I slip it on like a bracelet, and then I'm going to pull it up right below my elbow. So here's my elbow, this is where my heart rate monitor is. Now I want you to notice that my splat symbol is facing out. So we don't want it on the inside of your arm like that. We want it to be facing out, kind of in line with where your elbow is right here. So um, when it's facing out right here, that's where it's usually going to get the best read. If you're noticing that it's not reading you well here, your other option is to try two inches above the elbow on your bicep, right about here. And again, you're gonna be wanting it to be facing out like this, not turned in on the inside of your arm like this. Now, if you're in class and you're noticing that you're in the gray zone or the blue zone, and it's not really how you're reflecting how you're feeling in class, let's talk about some troubleshooting options. The number one troubleshooting is making sure that that placement is good. So if you're noticing some inconsistency, try moving it around a little bit even the smallest movement can help. Just a little bit, again, making sure the placement is correct like we just talked about, and seeing if a little scooch down or a little turn here will make it work and read you a little bit better. If you've tried all that and it's still not reading you well, 
check with the front desk. We can check to make sure that all of your information is correct on your OTD profile. We can also double check that placement for you if you weren't sure. And we can check to see if you've had over 20 workouts here at our studio so that we can calculate your personal max heart rate. What that means is that over the 20 workouts that you did here, the OTB system was gathering information and data of each workout and tailoring your max heart rate to you. So we can do that on our end too and see if it makes a difference in your summary. Lastly, I wanted to make sure you knew that there is a one year warranty on your heart rate monitor. So just make sure that you are checking in with us if you're experiencing issues. Communication is best so we can work together to help you. Let staff know if you have any additional questions, we're here to help.